Hello everyone and welcome to a special Easter Sunday edition of Richard's Fabulous Friday Hymns. While we're all in Corona quarantine, every single Friday I'll be sharing with you a favorite hymn of mine. Today's Easter Sunday choice is Thine is the Glory, and the scripture reading that is the basis for the choice, surprise, surprise, is the gospel reading that is appointed for today, Easter Sunday, 2020, and that is the 28th chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew, verses 1 through 10. Matthew writes, After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him... The guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. First, we'll talk a little bit about the text of Thine is the Glory. The original text was written in French, by a Swiss pastor by the name of Edmund Boudry in 1904. We don't know a lot about the life of Edmund Boudry except that he was a pastor in Switzerland who wrote read French hymns and he was the pastor of a number of different churches in the early 20th century. Boudry was also a translator of hymns from French to English, French to German, and French to Latin. The original lyrics of Thine is the Glory are French. The English translation was written by Richard Birch Hoyle in 1923. Hoyle was born in England. He also served as a Baptist pastor in and around London, but there was also a short period of his life in the early 1930s where he was in the United States and taught at Western Theological Seminary in Pittsburgh. He was also very active with the YMCA and served as the editor of their publication, The Red Triangle, for five years. The tune for Thine is the Glory comes from the oratorio Judas Maccabeus, written by George Friedrich Handel. Judas Maccabeus is probably the second most well known oratorio that Handel wrote, with the Messiah being the first, and most people obviously doing the Hallelujah Chorus. In Judas Maccabeus, this particular tune comes toward the end of Judas Maccabeus and is entitled, See Now the Conquering Hero Comes. Judas Maccabeus, the oratorio, tells the story of the Maccabean Revolt in the second century of BC, before Christ, and tells the story of Judas Maccabeus and the Jews expelling the Greeks from the Second Temple in Jerusalem, and then retaking the temple and ritually re-cleansing it and rechristening it for use by the Jews in Jerusalem. The celebration that followed that took place for eight days and eight nights. However, at the time that the altar was to be consecrated and the fire to celebrate that occasion was to happen, the Jews found that there was only one jug of ritual pure olive oil to use, only one jug that would last enough for one day. However, the miracle of the jug of oil lasting for eight days occurred for the entire festival. Therefore, Judas Maccabeus tells the story of the first Hanukkah, as obviously it's now celebrated here and around the world. A couple interesting facts about George Friedrich Handel. First of all, he became a musician and composer. However, his father wanted him to become a lawyer and he didn't listen to the advice of his father. Instead, he went into music, and I think we're all grateful that he did. But Handel, I guess you could say, was one of the earliest teenage rebellers. 
A number of tunes that Handel wrote have been set to hymns in various churches around the world, but probably the most well-known tune that Handel wrote that is the basis for, for a hymn is entitled Antioch. And the tune Antioch is the basis for the Christmas hymn, Joy to the World. Thine is the glory. Hoping you have a wonderful Easter Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Fabulous Friday Hymn.